Lisa Balick is looking to whether the mandate is expected to have a big impact on service. Uh, Lisa joins us live from downtown Portland with what she learned. Yeah, it's interesting. I was been checking around all day today and the governor's requirement is really going to have a big impact on smaller cities and towns throughout the state that depend on a lot of volunteer help for EMS, for ambulances, for fire departments. Now I checked in today with the mayor of Fossil, Oregon. That's a city with 430 people east here of Portland. Now the mayor is also an EMT on the ambulance crew of volunteers. She told me the governor's mandate is a disaster for her community. They'll lose two of their six volunteer EMTs. I'm horrified. I'm horrified because we can't get volunteers. We can't, it is so hard out here. You know, the 60% of our population in the entire county are 60 years and older. Tells me that the school district as well. They're going to lose five out of 33 employees, including some teachers. She and some other smaller city mayors wanted exemptions or at least more time before the mandate kicked in. I also checked in with the mayor of Warrington, the city of about 6,000 on the Oregon coast. More than half the city's 10 EMTs in the fire department were originally not planning to get a shot. Here's the but. The mayor and the fire chief worked with those volunteers, telling me giving them time and answering questions helped them choose to get a shot. They also appealed to the community about the situation, which brought in new EMS volunteers to help. The mandate clearly is having an impact and going to have an impact, which we will see in the next few days. Again, you talk about the 90 some percent in the school districts. That still leaves hundreds of people who will not be on the job tomorrow. We'll be following this live in downtown Portland. Lisa Valick, Point Six News.